Welcome back to another episode of my Bastion Let's Play. Let's see what we have to do. Alright, I guess that is the only actual level, so we will be going here today. The Langston River flowed free and wild till the Calamity drank it all up. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. Alright. Well, I haven't played this game in quite a while. But I will do my best. I've been playing Minecraft and Kingdoms of Amular, because I just started that playthrough. But I still do enjoy this game. I just haven't had the time to play it too much. Riverbanks swarming with windbags. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. I don't Lucky think they know. A certain famous fairy barge is still afloat. Weeping Nilly. Uh, she sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. I should have. Maybe not. I should have had my bow. Security skiff pulls up port side. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Yeah. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. They try to cut her off. I don't really want to destroy that guy. They try to slow her down. Try to knock her out. Not gonna work. Well, Weepin' Nelly tries harder. Try as she might, though, she hits a snag. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. Alright. She picked a good spot for a break, because the core is right there. Darn it, not what I wanted to block. Man, those stupid things are annoying. Hard, but he ain't finished. Oh my gosh. There's no way to really block them, because if you block them, they'll just come up behind you. And I won't lock on the right thing. sound like a hundred flapping wings they've been watching his every move they had their own eyes on the core but why well kid ain't got time to think it over just yet he finds a weeping nelly raring to go turns out she's got a special surprise All right when the water's getting rough Head off again. Oh no. Something broke him. She's gonna need a little help with all them pickers. Trafty things think they're king of the roost now. The rest of us only wish we could fly in times like these. Alright. Wanna make sure those things stay alive. With those idols I have active, it makes the enemies harder. Or that idol, I guess. Security gifts keep on coming, starboard side. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. Darn it. 
sick of those things. Windbags get an even better idea. Oh, stop it. They aim to smash with vanilla splinters. Man, those following stupid things are. I hate them so much. It's just not fair that you can't block them. They don't know the kid's just trying to help. Well, maybe they don't care. The kid almost falls again. Yeah, no freaking deal. Heal, you idiot. I can see why I haven't played this in a while. Well, it all proves too much for poor Nelly. Here we go. She's just got to make one last stop. With her last breath, Nelly gets the kid to solid ground. Solid ground in Picker country. They want that core real bad. Seems a calamity ain't hurt the Picker's appetites. Might be they want it just as bad as a kid. Kid shoes him off, knowing they'll be back. Know how many times kid nearly fell off the bar back there? Yeah, a lot. Three times. All right, let's go nah, open this listen up. close. You should remember this next part. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Wait, is this where I? It might be. Used to take an enterprising man or a plain old fool to venture out that far. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. Most and that's level. why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? Thanks for interrupting. Most this level is just about pushing buttons, opening doors, and backtracking. That's about it. There, the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. Yes, this is it. How's it go again? Probably one of the best songs in the game. Yeah, that's the one. I'm not going to talk much during this level, because this song is just amazing.
Well, no point explaining what happens next, right? Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. Nope. And besides, it's like the song goes. too long amazing song one of my most favorite levels we darn near celebrated when the kid got back didn't we Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again we become fast friends calamity has that effect on people But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. All if right. only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book. I'd have worked to translate it right away. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Most of the Earth never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods, unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see, but leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. Girl tried to run away from home one time, but the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. Alrighty, let's see what we're gonna build. The shrine. Behold the Pantheon. Oh, I could have sworn we had one on, but I guess not. Wow. Anyways, that is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, even though I ranted on the barge part. Um, but after that, it was pretty good, because I love that song, as I said. So I will catch you in the next episode.